Hello everyone, guys, I welcome all of you to the third session and the last session on data file handling. Yes, what is that we have discussed in the last session? Let's have a quick recap and then we'll move on to the next topics. In the last session, I have discussed all about the different file modes that I have, which was very, very important topic in the last session, including that we have the syntax for how do we close the file. Along with that, I have also discussed, so how do we check the end of the file? So that is EOF function. All these topics I have discussed in the previous class. So guys, hope all of you have seen that. Please go back and check that video before you start watching this. So guys, by saying this, let me take you to the next topics. So guys, what is that I have in this session? So I will be starting this session with this concept that is file pointers. What is the different file pointers that I have? So in file handling is what I will be discussing. Along with that, I will also discuss the functions for manipulation of file pointers is what I'm going to discuss. So including that, so guys, I will be discussing these important functions. This is the important part of this session. So what is seek, what is tell and how do we use the seek and tell for get and put functions is what I will be discussing in today's session. Along with that, I will also discuss that basic operations on binary files in C++. So this is what I'm going to discuss in today's session. So guys, so let's start with the first topic. What is that? So file pointers and their manipulations. So guys, we have two file pointers that is input pointer, another one is output pointer. I always call get as a input pointer and put as a output pointer. We have already discussed in the previous class. Please remember, so I will be using if stream. I'll be using if stream. If stream has got the get pointer. If stream has got the get pointer and if stream has got the put pointer. So that is what you have to remember as of now. Just remember if I say get pointer. So please remember if I say get pointer, it belongs to which stream? You should be able to tell that it belongs to if stream. If I say put pointer, you should be able to tell me that it belongs to OF stream. I have already discussed. So why do we use IF stream? Why do we use OF stream? Why do we use get and why do we use put? So guys, get is to read one character at a time. Get is to read one character at a time. Put is to write one character at a time to the file is what you have to remember at this point of time. So by saying this, Moving on to the next important thing. So guys, there are three modes when we open a file. How many modes we have? Three modes we have when we are trying to open a file. So what is that we are trying to understand here? When I'm trying to open the file, I can open the file in three modes, but I'm stressing on one thing that is pointer. I'm stressing on one thing that is pointer. I've already discussed what is pointer. So guys, if I'm reading like this, this pen will be the pointer. This pen will be the pointer. So where exactly my pointer is? My pointer is my pointer is at the beginning of the file. My pointer is pointing to the beginning of the file. So guys, so that is what I'm trying to explain all of you. So now let us understand this concept in detail. So let us understand when I'm trying to open a file, I will be able to open the file in three modes. So I have read mode, I have write mode, I have append mode. Suppose if I'm trying to open the file in the read mode, where exactly my pointer will be? My pointer will be in the beginning of the file. If I, if I open the file in the read mode, please observe, I'm talking with respect to the pointer. So if I open the file in the read mode, I will be having my pointer in the beginning of the file. I'll be having the, my, I'll be having my pointer in the beginning of the file. Yes. Suppose if I open the, file in the right mode so what will happen suppose i have the content already in my file all those data will get erased all those data will get erased and my pointer will set back to the beginning of the file my pointer will set back to the beginning of the file whatever the data i had earlier it will get erased if you are trying to open that again if you want to open that file again in the right mode what will happen 
whatever the data that I had in the file, it will get erased and my pointer will come back to the beginning. So what is the next mode that I have? I have append mode. Guys, when I am trying to open the file in the append mode, what will happen? What will happen guys? Please understand, my pointer will come to the end of the file. So from there, I will start writing the content. That is what you have to understand with respect to the pointer when I'm trying to open the files in three different modes. So that's all you have to remember in this particular slide. This is very, very important. So moving on to the next one. I have a important topic for the day. Functions for manipulation of the file pointers. So I have two functions actually. What are the first one that I have? I have seek. Another one is tell. So please understand seek function and I have tell function. Please observe I have two functions. One is seek, another one is tell. So why do I use seek? I use seek to move the pointer to the specific location. I use the pointer to move to the specific location. Imagine in the olden days, no, probably you would have not used it. In our days, we used to have a tape recorder. So in that trip recorder, if I want to go to the second song, I should keep forwarding. I should keep forwarding till I go to that particular location. In the same way, you guys have the CD, right? CD. All of you will go, if you want to go to the second song or the third song or the fourth song, so you will keep forwarding, right? What is that you are doing? So you are taking the pointer that is reader to the particular location. That is what you are trying to do. That is what you are trying to do. But you will do the seek function with two pointers one is with G another one is with P so what is this G and P so please understand moose get file pointer what is that if you use seek G you are moving the get file pointer to the specific location you are using you are moving the get file pointer to the specific location what is that I have a seek P so what is that I have most the put file pointer to the specific location so guys p in the sense you should remember put g in the sense you should remember get that is what you have to remember but the common thing here is so it moves to the specific location it moves to the specific location that is what you have to remember so after that i have tell so what is that tell so it will give you the current position it will give you the current position so after that watcher suppose if I'm using tell G what will happen so it returns the current position of get pointer if I use tell G so it will give you the current exactly right now so where exactly my pointer is that is get pointer is is what you will get the answer so tell P tell P in the sense what it returns the current position of put pointer it returns the current position of put pointer so that is what you have to understand so in this slide, so I have listed out some of the syntax guys. So I have CG, so I can write CG in two different way. So what is that two different way? Please observe the first one. So I have CG with one single parameter, CG with one single parameter. So what is the meaning of it? So all of you know that seek function is used to go to the specific location. It is, it is used to go to the specific location. So guys, it is used to go to the specific location. Here observe, if I give 20, if I give 20, so it will take me from the beginning, it will take me to the particular 20th byte. So that is what you have to understand. Suppose if I use this, what will happen? So imagine, from this particular location okay let us imagine what is the offset so from this particular location how many numbers suppose if I have given 10 bytes from this particular location I want to go to 10 bytes ahead so that particular location I want to go so that's how I'll be using seek G offset comma seek DIR that is what you have to remember from this particular location I want to go this many bytes that is what you have to remember so guys the next function that i have is seek p why do i use seek p please observe here move the put pointer to the specific location from the beginning of the file move the seek p that is put pointer to the specific location from the beginning of the file so i have two types of functions i have two types of functions the first function that i have is seek p 
long i have given long the same way what we have discussed in the previous slide the same thing so guys if i just give 20 so what will happen i will be moving my current foot pointer from the beginning to the 20th byte is what you have to understand the same thing for seek p offset and seek dir from this particular location these many bytes it has to go that is what you have to remember so only difference is p and g is what you have to understand from the you no know, with the last slide so moving on to the next one so guys i have tell g what is this tell g sir where is 4g so i'm not discussing about the 4g please understand about the tell g so tell g in the sense you will be understanding you will get the result like you know current position of the get pointer so you will get the information about the current position of the get pointer so guys how do you write this so guys basic operations on binary files in C++. What is the basic operations that I can do? Guys, I can perform searching. I can perform searching and I can also perform appending the data. Appending the data in the sense, adding the data at the end. So I can also insert the data in the sorted file. What is the meaning of adding the inserted data at the sorted file? What is the meaning of adding the inserted data into the sorted file? Imagine I have one, two, three, four, five. So it's in the ascending order, it is sorted already. So I should insert, for example, one, two, three. I don't have four, I have five. I want to insert the four in between. So this is what I will call it as a adding the data to the sorted file that I can perform. So guys, that is one of the operation that I can perform on the binary files. And also I can delete a record and I can also modify the record. This is the operations that I can perform with respect to the binary files in C++. So guys, by saying this, I have come to an end of the chapter. So hope you have got a fair idea about the file handling. So you can create the file, you can close the file, you can write the content to the file, read the content from the file, you can append the data to the file. All these things you can do right now if you watch my videos completely. So sir, but what is the use? Tell us some important questions. What is that I will get from this chapter? Yes, I'm coming to that. So guys, as I discussed in the blueprint, so you can expect two questions from this chapter that is five marks, one question from two marks and one question from three marks. I have listed some of the important questions which was listed in the previous papers. So guys, so here is a two marks important question for all of you. If you have watched my session, completely you will be able to answer all these questions i have covered all these questions so this is the two marks question for all of you i'll just move out of the frame you can just take a screenshot of it and also i have the three marks question please make a note of it and also take a screenshot so guys if you are able to answer all these questions so you will be able to score five on five so hope i made it very simple and easy so with this i conclude this session Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.